I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Mansion I done speaks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm different environment. Cause you had desires. I know. Hey, I know. I see. Played by Jordan. <laughs> So, today we're back at it again with some fun stuff. So, today we're going to be doing a the new viral TikTok, you know, skunk stripe, which has been out for, like, years. I mean, it's just all coming back, like everything does. So, instead of doing one stripe, we're going to do two stripes, like, in the frontal. Anyway, let me introduce the company, girl. <laughs> Shout out to Asteria Hair. Inside your packaging, you will get some lashes, wig cap. You will also get a satin bag to store your wig in after use. And you get a silk scarf, which is so important when tying your hair down at night, while you're working out and in the shower. You know, a little one, two. One, two, you know, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and it's super long. So let's get into this wig. We have a HG Lace Deep Wave 13 by 4, 40 inch, 250% density lace front wig. That was a mouthful. Y'all, I'm too excited, too hyped, you know. Normal stuff that comes in it. Okay, let's show you the wig construction. Once again, we have a full 13 by 4. So you can do parts along the side and the middle. There's no, you know, restrictions. You have two combs. Oh, girl, get it together. You have two combs right behind the frontal and one comb in the back. You also have your adjustable straps. Once again, this is, this is HD undetectable lace. <laughs> Girl, wait, where is the lace? It look like ain't nothing on my arm. Where is the lace? Girl, come through. The hairline does come pre-plucked. Y'all know I want to pluck some more because you know that's just what Jordan does. You know, let's get into it. And the knots are small. I hate big knot wigs. Look at her. Look at her. Girl, you is beautiful. This is a pretty texture. Of course, the frontal is... Let me see if I can find it. The frontal is 20 inches, okay? The frontal is 20 inches. And then the bundles in the back are 40 inches. Keep that in mind as well. And yeah. We get some shedding, but it's expected because honey, I already been playing with this wig for like a month. Mm, sorry. <laughs> but it's nothing major. It's like these little strands or whatever. Let me see how they smell. Don't have no weird smell, you know. Like I said, we finna cook it up. I'm finna show y'all how to do these skunk scribes and you know. Enjoy this slay. All right. See y'all in a bit. All right, y'all. Y'all will need a mixing bowl with a mixing brush, some gloves. Of course, you'll need some foils. BW2 powder and 50 volume developer. I went ahead and pre section this wig. As you can see, I only have two sections on the side temple areas of the frontal, and that's all I'll be coloring. Make sure your bleach is not too runny because when your bleach is too runny, you do not get the maximum lift. And I only lifted this hair one time. You have to make sure your bleach is almost like a bleaching knot consistency, but just a little bit thinner so it can actually spread on the hair. But you definitely don't want it too loose, too watery because it's not going to lift that hair. As you can see, I'm applying the bleach to the outline of the section. I'm also going in and making sure I touch every single part of the roots within the section. A big mistake you can make would be to just bleach the outline and then bleach that whole section in one little piece. Um, you don't want to do that because once you finish bleaching and you actually like comb the hair and start parting it, you'll notice that the inside of your section is still black and you do not want that. You want a even bleach, no splotchiness whatsoever. So make sure you subsection your section.
After I pull that bleach through the mid shaft and the ends of each subsection, I always make sure I brush the hair through. With curly hair and deep wave hair, a lot of times you think you've touched every part of the hair, but you really haven't. And what the brush ensures is that that bleach is on every single strand of hair. Because like I said, we want a even bleach. We do not want black spots in our patch. That's just going to throw it off. After that full subsection is complete, I go ahead and wrap it in a foil neatly because if you scrunch it up any kind of way, it will give you an uneven bleach. So don't do that as well. And I also covered the roots. Um, I let this sit for about 30 minutes. Um, I'm not quite too sure on the timing. I just washed it. And um, this is after both pieces of the frontal are done bleaching. As you can see, it lifted pretty good for some BW2. I went ahead and rinsed that out and I toned it with purple shampoo and I actually let the purple shampoo sit for about 10 minutes on the hair. And yeah, we're here today. I did go ahead and bleach the knots and pluck this wig off camera and let's get into this wig and style boop. I did apply four layers of glue today. You want to make sure that each layer of glue turns clear before you apply the next layer. Once your last layer is clear, go ahead and lay that lace down. Just the 
Okay, but let's get into this hairline before we do this baby hairs. Like, did y'all peep the widow's peak? Like, the slight widow's peak? Yeah, get into it, boo. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to section out the hairs we're going to use for the baby hairs. You're going to section this out thin because we're doing a new baby hair technique today. So whatever normal amount of baby hairs that you section out, section out a little bit less. Um, It'll just, you'll see in the end what I'm talking about. Um, We're going to do two baby hairs on the temple and then we're going to do a side burn on each side so just watch So the first step after your baby hairs are already sectioned and they're molded down with the spray and the elastic band for about five, 10 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and hot comb them straight. So now we're gonna take our rear by kiss pencil titanium plate flat iron and we're going to curl the hair up with our flat iron you want to make sure that you use a very skinny flat iron because it'll just give you the best results um i find that through trial and error error 
curling the baby hairs upward instead of down gives you the look that you want. It's kind of like a mind game because you would think curling the hair down and then swooping it, it would just like lay easier. But I promise you, when you curl it up, it, it makes it so much easier for you. So take that tip, honey. Now we're gonna cut the baby hairs with our razor to about one to one and a half inch. I always cut the sideburns a little longer because you know, the girls love those real dramatic. Now I'm gonna take my free spray and my eyebrow spoolie and we're gonna swoop these baby hairs into place. Do not talk about my dirty spoolie. If you're a hairstylist or you do your own hair, you know, the dirty tools that got all the product in it, they do exactly what you need it to do. Them new clean um, tools, they, I mean, they're clean. Of course, we love that, but they just don't do it how it's supposed to. Yeah. I mean, if you know, you know. The, the primary goal of these type of baby hairs, the curly baby hairs, is to spray the spoolie with the free spray. And you're basically going to swoop like the base of the baby hair. And then you're going to leave the end of the baby hair just like free. That way they look more curly and like, you know, soft. It's kind of hard to explain. You're not swooping the baby hairs like normally like with gel or mousse, like, like swooping it all the way. You're like just making sure the base is um, stuck to the head and then you leave the ends free. And that gives you that different look. Um, I am hope I'm explaining this good enough. It's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, these are just some new different type of baby hairs that I want to put y'all on to. Also, a tip with these baby hairs is like, just go with the flow of what they naturally want to do. Like, when you force these type of baby hairs, it, it usually doesn't work because the flat iron has already set the curl into place and they already know what they want to do. So, just go with the flow. Like, I promise you it's going to look cute in the end. Like, these aren't meant to be like super defined, super in place. Like, they're just, you know, they're fun. The style we're gonna do today is a half up, half down. I already pre-hot combed and waxed the hair up, like molded it. Um, I am gonna take some of the black um, on the sides and leave that down with the rest of the hair in the back, just because I want emphasis on these um, skunk stripes. So that's exactly what I did. Do you want 
And y'all see that scrunchie on my arm, that brown one? I went ahead and added that on top of the black rubber band base just to give the hair more, you know, more style, more fun, you know? And as y'all can see, honey, that hair is laid, honey. I did go ahead and spray the hair with a little water. I didn't add any products because I want the hair to stay big. I just wanted it a little bit more defined, but not really, you know? And as you can see, honey, this is laid, honey. Give them a close-up, honey. Yes. Make sure y'all check that description box for more information on this wig, how to purchase this wig, possible coupon codes. We're still on the road to 500K, y'all. I got so much new content dropping. I'm not going to even talk much, honey. Just get into it. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bells. Goodbye. Love y'all.